Hey guys, welcome back to Sudoku Mania. I know the gaps between my videos is increasing, but unfortunately, it's too tough trying to manage everything on your own, you know. But I'm trying to be as frequent as possible. I know there will be gaps, but hopefully, there will not be a complete stop. And really, thank you guys for all the patronage. The response to the mobile app has been wonderful. And for those who are not aware, we have launched a Android mobile app where you have the access to over a thousand Sudokus from the archives of our website. And also every day when we host a classic and a variant on our website that feeds directly into the mobile app so that you can solve directly through the mobile. Do give it a, a look. I have placed the link to the Play Store in the description of the video because we have received some wonderful reviews and some really important feedbacks and suggestions which we are soon going to implement in the version 2 or the upgrade that will be rolling out in a few weeks. So coming back to today's Sudoku. Now this was an anti-night Sudoku that I hosted on my website on the 29th of October if I'm not mistaken. Now this was definitely a hard Sudoku and quite a few people faltered on this. So I thought, <clears throat> why not create a walkthrough as to what was the intended path? Now, I will not be going through the elimination techniques because I have already discussed those techniques in an earlier video. If you want, you can just click on this link on the top. Check out that video which details out all the techniques that we use when we are solving a Sorry about that. When you're solving an anti night Sudoku. So, without wasting much time, let's get cracking here. So, for the first thing, like I always say, we start like a classic. We have a 2 here and a 2 here. So, the 2s have to be in these two. Alright, that's one pencil mark. 3, 3. 3 cannot be here, so that's a 3. So, this becomes a 2. 3. 3 has to be in these two, right? But this cell is at a night step from this 3. Hence the 3 gets pushed here. Alright. This 3 cannot be here. It can be here. This cell is at a night step. This cell is at a night step. So the 3 will be here. 3 cannot be here. It cannot be here by classic rules. For this 3, these two are at night step. So the 3 gets locked here. Hmm. 3 cannot be here. This is at a night step. So 3 is locked here. This 3 not here, not here, not here. These two at a night step. Okay. Well, we got the pencil marks, but not much. Anyway, no problem. Next, we have an 8 and 8. 8 can't be here. This cell is at a night step. So I get the 8 here. Which gives me the 2. 4 cannot be here. In column 6, it can be here. So that's my 4. 4 cannot be here, cannot be here. These two are at a night step to this 4. So the 4 has to be here. Hmm. And the missing numbers are 5, 6, 5, 6. The 7 can be here here All right which means this 7 cannot be here it's in these three cells but when I look at the placement of these sevens again I'm saying again you can have a look at the earlier video which is there on the top in that I link if you want to understand now when I look at these two sevens this seven is in the column 5. So obviously if I have a 7 here, it cannot repeat in these two cells. But if the 7 were in our row 4, column 4, this cell is at a night step to this one, right? So irrespective of where the 7 comes in box 5, this can never be a 7. Right? So 7 cannot be here, here or here. These 4 are 7. But then we have an option, again, when I look at these two, just like we use these two in tandem, using these two, 
this is in row 3 and this one is at a night step so whichever be the combination this cannot be a 7 and similarly this is in row 2 and if this was a 7 this would be at a night step so you can get rid of that 7 as well or conversely if you want to look at it if this was a 7 it would eliminate this 7 because it's in the same row and it would eliminate the 7 from here as well because it's at a night step and that would not allow any cell where I can place a 7. Hence, I know we can eliminate this. 7 cannot be here. This is again at a night step. So, this becomes a pair on 3 and 7. Alright. Hmm. Now, 7 cannot be here. It cannot be here. 7 is at a night step. So the sevens can be here. When I look at this, seven is not here, not in these. I know this was a tricky pseudo group, which involved a lot of eliminations and pencil marking to begin with. And now, now comes the actual breakthrough where we are looking for. In box six, seven, I can can be placed in three cells, right? But again, looking at these two, seven. If the seven was in row four, obviously this cannot be a seven. And if the 7 was in row 5, this is again at a night step to row 4 column 7, right? So irrespective of where the 7 comes in box 5, I know for sure this cannot be a 7. So for box 6, the 7 gets logged in row 5, which eliminates the 7. So this is my 7. This becomes a 7, 7, 7. That's a 3. That's a 7 and 7. And just like that, we have finished placing all the sevens. I can remove this three because of this. So these type of openings and breakthroughs are really important when you're solving a anti -night. And now that I got this three, let's start eliminating and placing all the threes as well. So this would be a three, this would be a three. And yes, sir, we are on a move. Eight. Cannot be in these, it cannot be in these by classic rules. So this is my 8. This 8 gets placed here. And because this is an okay, this is an 8, this is an 8, this is an 8, 8, 8, this is an 8 with an 8 here. And here, 8 cannot be here. Now comes the fun part. I have five places, right? But uh, let's look at it. These 8 is in one of these two cells, right? And again, if you had, ha had a look at the earlier video with the technique, you know for sure these two cannot be an 8. Why? Because if this is an 8, this is in the same row and this is at a night step. So there would be no place for an 8 in box 2. And we get rid of this. Similarly, for this 8, because this is in the same row 2, and at a night step to row 1 column 5. So we get rid of this. We have come down to 3 cells. But using the box 6 with these two 8s, I can also eliminate the 8 from here. Because if 8 were here, right, this is in the same column and this is at a night step. And I would not have any place in box 6 for the 8. Now that we have the 8 locked in row 3 for box 3, I can safely eliminate the 8 from there. This becomes an 8. This becomes an 8. This can be taken out. And with this 8 at a night step, this becomes an 8 and this becomes an 8. Alright. And we have placed all the 8s now. So you see how important it is to understand the relationship between the cells. Once again, I would like to reiterate. Have a look at the video whose link is which whose link is posted at the top of this video in that i dot i have very clearly explained all the elimination techniques for an anti night pseudo group coming back to row 4 digits 1 and 6 are missing this one is at a night step so this becomes a 6 and a 1 i can get rid of these sevens as well mm. next so 1, 1, 1 cannot be here at a nice step, so this is my 1, this becomes a 2 and a 9, 
which makes this a 9 and a 5 6 pair so this also is 5 6 2 cannot be here this 2 is at a night step so this again is a 2 now 9 cannot be here 9 cannot be here and this 9 is at a night step to these two cells so this has to be my 9 9 9 this can't be a 9, this is at a 9 step to this 9, so this becomes a 9 with a 2 9 in these two bars, so I know for sure this is a pair of 2 9 9 9, this cannot be a 9, this is my 9 alright now 5 5, 5 has to be in one of these two but the 5 and row 3 column 7 are at a 9 step so my 5 gets placed here, this is a 1 6 one six six cannot be there so that's a one four four six and a one six all right and this also becomes a one six now comes another now i know this six is locked in row three again right so the six cannot be here it is in either row one column three or row two column three but just like we use the adjoining cells technique for the eights, I know with these sixes here, this cannot be a six because if this is a six, it would eliminate the six from here because it's the same row and it would also eliminate the six from here because oh, it's at the night step and then we would not have any place for the six in box one. Hence, we can safely eliminate the six, put in a one, this becomes a six, this is my five six again, one, one this can be a one so this is my one one cannot be here so this becomes a one six four one this was a five six so this becomes a four 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 this can be a whole this is a four we also got a six there so this is a five and a six six five six five this can be a 5, so that's a 5 and a 1. I have a 4 and a 6 needed here in column 1. But we also have a 4 here, right? So this becomes a 6 and a 4. 6 by classic rules can be here. So that's a 6, 2 and a 4. Which makes this a 2, 9 and a 5 to complete the box. By classic rules, 5, 5, 5. I require the 9 to complete row 9 and the missing numbers are 4 and a 6. And this was the intended solve path for this anti-night Sudoku. In hindsight, when we see what was, how it was supposed to be solved, we realize, oh, it was not as difficult as it turned out to be. But remember, it's all about eliminating possibilities when you're solving a variant. Let me know in the comments how you found the walkthrough and does it reinstill some confidence in you to attack a few more anti-night pseudocools. We love to hear your feedbacks. So I'll hopefully I'll be back again tomorrow with another interesting variant that I posted on the website. So till the next time, happy solving.